Today's class was filmed at the first light of day, just as the winter-weakened sun was reaching the mountains behind me. The snow was falling and the moment was magical. Thank you for joining me, let's begin. Let's all begin at the back of our mats, sitting on our heels. Shoulders relaxed, bring your hands into prayer at the heart. Closing your eyes, begin to lengthen and deepen your breathing. On the next inhalation, let's lift our arms above our head, extending our arms towards the ceiling. Gently bring your head backwards, tilting your chin up towards the ceiling and relaxing your neck, opening your chest and allowing for a gentle backbend. Exhale as you engage the core and lower your body down, moving into a child's pose. I give you the option here to have a wide leg or a closed leg child's pose. If you have a closed leg, that is targeting the lower back. If you open the knees, then you're targeting the upper back. Resting your forehead down to the ground, closing your eyes and extending your upper body forward, palms facing down. Filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhalation and slowing that breath down. I invite you now to set an intention for this class or for your life in general. Let's all take a moment to visualize something amazing we wish to bring into our present reality. It can be small and it can be large, it can be anything. Take a deep breath in, fill your lungs, expand your chest. When your lungs are full, pause. And as you exhale, release any tension you may be holding in your body. Anything that is no longer serving you, just let it go. Any thoughts weighing heavy, just let it go. Keep those big and expansive breaths going. On the next inhalation, reach your left arm across to the left side. Follow with the right hand, placing it on top of your left hand until you feel a deep side body stretch through the right side of your body. When you have your arms in position, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, release and relax, letting go of any tension in the neck. Release all of your body weight into this stretch and completely relax. On the next inhalation, gently lift your head and begin to walk your arms back to centre and over and across to the right side. Arms in position, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, release any tension you're holding in your neck, allowing your weight to get heavy and decompress all of your spinal column using gravity and applying no added pressure, using those deep breaths to release any tension we may be holding anywhere in the body.
On the next inhalation, gently lift your head and begin to step your arms back to the central line of your yoga mat. Moving fluidly now into our cat cows, using our body roll technique to come in and out of our tabletop foundation, rolling through every vertebra in the spine, coming forwards and then coming backwards. Keep this movement going and connect your breathing to your movement, inhaling as you open and exhaling as you compress. Final time and then let's find our way to tabletop foundation with our palms beneath our shoulders and our knees beneath our hips. Let's move through some cat cows. Inhale and drop the belly to cow, chest forward, chin slightly lifted and exhale to cat, lifting your spine up towards the ceiling and dropping your neck and head down. Keep these movements going and keep your breath connected to your movements. Final time and let's return to tabletop foundation, neutralizing the spine. Inhale as you lift your right arm up towards the ceiling and follow with your gaze. Exhale as you bring that arm down and repeat that movement twice more. Final time, lift and inhale. And as you exhale, let's thread the needle, bringing that right arm underneath the left shoulder, extending the left arm in front and coming into a full shoulder stretch here through the right side. Relax your head and look out towards your right hand. Focus inward on your breathing here, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhalation. Final deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's release, bringing that left hand down beneath the shoulder, lifting up and releasing our right arm. From our tabletop foundation, let's move into one more round of cat cows. Inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. Coming back into a neutral spine and lifting up through the left side. Coming down and repeating two more times. Final time, inhale and lift. And as you exhale, we're gonna be threading the needle coming under the right shoulder with the left arm, extending forward with the right arm and moving deeply into that left shoulder. Relax your head and neck, looking towards your left hand. If you are comfortable enough, you can close your eyes here and again, just focus inward on that breathing. Let's all take a deep breath in together. 
And as we exhale, let's release this pose by bringing the right hand down and then lifting ourselves up and releasing the left arm, coming back to tabletop foundation. Curl those toes around and begin to lift yourself up and onto those heels. Engage your core and sit back on those heels, giving the back of your feet a nice stretch. Open the arms and extend the chest forward. As you exhale, let's take eagle wrap with left arm under right. Inhale as you bring those shoulders back into a gentle back bend and exhale as you unravel coming forward and down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale as you come back. Open and fill the lungs with air. And exhale as you slowly come forward, releasing the head and neck. Sitting back on your heels and opening your arms on an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to bring the arms back together into an eagle wrap, right under left. Inhale to come back as we move through the same body rolls and exhale as you come slowly forward and down, releasing the neck. And keep that going one more time both ways. Inhale as we come back onto those heels and bring your hands into prayer at the heart. Bring those hands down and step them out towards the front of the mat and move yourself into a high plank. Engage your core and as you inhale, lift your left leg straight back behind you. As you exhale, bring that left knee up to the front between your hands and move into pigeon pose. Hips facing forward, shoulders back, take a deep breath in, filling your lungs. And as you exhale, we're going to come forward and down, moving into our pigeon pose, relaxing our chest on that bent front left leg. Release your forehead down onto your hands and close your eyes. Begin to lengthen and deepen the breath and reconnect to your breathing. Let's all take a deep breath in together, filling our lungs. And as we exhale, bring your palms beneath your shoulders and extend your arms, bringing those shoulders back. Swinging your right leg around, bringing it to the front and bringing it to the other side of your still bent left leg. Here we want the right leg stacked on top of the left and both bent. I find it helpful to take both feet in each hand and keep them planted where they are. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, forward fold coming down on top of your bent legs. Release your neck and allow your head to just hang down. Close your eyes here and just allow yourself to go inward, focusing on your breathing. On the next inhalation, gently lift your head. 
begin to bring yourself back to a seated position. Bring the sole of your right foot down, which would lift your knee. Option here to extend the left leg if your knees are feeling a little bit tight. Or you can follow along with me and bend into your left leg. We're moving into a pose called cow face posture. So from behind the back, you want to connect your hands, left hand from above and right hand from below. Keep your spine really straight and just look forward. On the next inhale, release the bind through the hands. Bring your hands into prayer in the chest and extend both legs straight out in front of you. Inhale as you lift your arms up to the ceiling and exhale as you come slowly forward into your head to toe forward fold. Please go easy on yourself here and just maintain the integrity of your straight spine. That's the most important thing. I thought it might be helpful to just grab a block and give you a quick demonstration here. It's just a fun little variation on how to use your block in this pose. Personally, I prefer no props and I just like gravity to bring me closer to my legs. I like to relax my neck and allow the weight of my head to also be incorporated into the stretch. On the next inhalation, slowly lift your chin and come back to a seated position, drawing those shoulders back as well. Let's begin to slowly recline ourselves back onto the yoga mat and bring our knees into our chest. If it feels good for you, you can just gently rock from side to side as well, moving a little deeper into your hips. On the next inhalation, let's rock forward and move into our opposite boat pose, extending both our legs and arms. Hold for a breath and then let's release, rolling back like a ball and coming forward and up into a chair pose. Roll through the body as you come to a standing position. Inhale as you open your arms to mountain and exhale as you roll through the body coming into a gentle back bend. Forward and down, moving into your forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. And exhale to forward fold, jumping or stepping back to high plank. Inhale as you lift your right leg back behind you and then leading with the knee, coming into pigeon pose, extending through the arms. Take another deep breath in, filling your lungs. And as you exhale, slowly come forward and down into your pigeon pose. Close your eyes and relax your forehead down on your hands. Release any tension you may be holding in the body. Bring your attention inward and focus on your breathing. Allowing your body weight to just melt down into the mat beneath you. Let's all take a deep breath in together, filling our lungs. And as we exhale, bring your hands down beneath your shoulders, extend your arms. Now swing your left leg around and bring your leg on top of your bent right leg. Check the screen now for a demonstration. 
slowly coming down into your forward fold, resting your upper body on your bent legs. Release your neck and allow the weight of your head to come into the stretch as well, decompressing through every spinal column. Enjoy the gentle rise and fall of your body as you in and exhale. Let's all take one more deep breath in together here. And as we exhale, let's slowly bring those shoulders back, returning to a seated position. Again, option here to extend your right leg or keep it bent. We want to bring the sole of the left foot down. Option now to create that bind through the arms, lifting your right arm up and connecting your left and right fingertips behind your back. Spine straight and looking forward. Let's all take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands, bring your arms down and in front of you. Release your legs and bring your toes down in front of you. Inhale as you extend your arms in front of you, engage your core. And as you exhale, slowly make your way down onto the mat. Pressing the lower back down into the mat and bringing your knees into your chest. Again, if it feels good for you, you can gently rock from side to side. Now extend your knees up directly above your hips and extend the rest of your legs at a 90 degree angle. Engage your core and open your arms out from the shoulders with the palms down and allow your knees to slowly come down to the left side. Make any necessary adjustments you need through the hips so that you're nice and comfortable. When you're in a comfortable position here, turn your head out to the right side, close your eyes and allow yourself to go inward as you focus on your breathing here. Allowing yourself to drift on the gentle rhythm of your in and exhalation. One more deep breath in together. And as you exhale, bring your head back to center, looking up, engage your core and lift your knees back up to center as well. Just take a moment to come into your happy baby pose or stretch out the legs in any way that feels good for you before we move into the other side.
On the next inhalation, release your legs. Open your arms out at the shoulder with your palms down. Bring your legs back up to that 90 degree angle. And we're gonna slowly allow the legs to drop across to the right side. Again, making any adjustments that you need to to be comfortable. And when you're ready, just drop that head across to the left side, close your eyes, and again, just focus on your breathing. One more deep breath in together. And as we exhale, let's bring our head back to center, looking up, knees back up to center as well. And you can take your knees now and draw them close to your chest. And once again, if it feels good for you, you can gently rock from side to side. Now it is time to release and relax in our final resting pose of Shavasana. If you have a blanket nearby, you can grab that now. Just put that over you, close your eyes, and allow yourself to just deeply relax here. Feel free to stay as long as you need here in your Shavasana, but if you wish to close off the class with me, let's come to a seated position. Get some animation back into the body. Thank you so much for joining me. It is truly my great honor that you choose to practice yoga with me. If you enjoy my classes and wish to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There's also a donation link below. I release classes weekly, don't forget to hit that bell notification. Wishing you a beautiful day. Namaste.